Hey friends, how's it going? Happy Sunday. My name is Shannon. Welcome in. If you're returning, welcome back. I appreciate you all so much. Truly, um, we're here with an Aquarius Collective reading. It's Sunday. We're the day, I believe, after the solar eclipse. So hopefully you guys have been getting in some rest and kind of allowing yourself to soak in that energy. I know it's been a little intense, but let's see what we've got going on for the upcoming week and the upcoming days here. This is a timeless reading. Whenever it reaches you, it might be for you. All right, let's jump right in, Aquarius. What do we need to know for the Aquarius Collective, please, Spirit? We'll take it. The Hierophant. This has been coming out quite a lot lately in personal readings, especially the Hierophant. I think a lot of us are stepping into some type of either leadership role, teaching role, recent past. Recent past is going to be the Ace of Cups. So this could even have to do with some type of a contractual agreement, such as a marriage. Let's get some more context. We have the Seven of Pentacles in the near future. Woo, crowning. Crowning, we have the Knight of Cups. Okay, let's see here. Let's see what's in the foundation before I start to speak on this. The Death card. All right, guys, let's talk about what's going on here. We have the Emperor on the bottom of the deck. So recent past, we have the Ace of Cups, right? And we have the Hierophant as our central issue. It looks like, especially with the Seven of Pentacles coming out in the near future, it looks like you, some of you are stuck in some type of a situation. This could be a marital situation where you have been putting in the work for a long time. And we see someone else coming through here with an offer. We have the death card in the foundation. We're seeing the ending of something. We're going through a transitionary period. So for some of you, this is, I'm just going to read it like I say it. I feel like <clears throat> if you're in a relationship that has been going on for a very long time, that may have blossomed from something at one point lovely and beautiful and all-encompassing. That has now turned to kind of more of a situation where one person is really kind of holding all the cards and the other person is just waiting for what the seeds that they have planted to bear fruit. So this is an unhappy or a less than ideal love situation. But we see someone coming in and the reason that this person's coming through is because there's the beginning of some type of a transition here. Let's go ahead and clarify the death card. Let's see what this transition is. Clarify the death card, please, Spirit. Yeah, the King of Cups. Something's ending here. With the King of Cups, this could be a water sign. It could be an air sign for some of you, but we see the chariot on the bottom. You guys are definitely moving along. If this is your reading, something is ending. Something that has been going on for quite some time, something that may have a legal backing, is coming to an end. All right? Let's clarify the Knight of Cups. Let's see what this person wants. Show me this Knight of Cups. I was not expecting this reading to be at all. <laughs> I can be completely honest. The Ace of Swords. So somebody's coming through to offer you some type of clarity and some type of love, all right? So, or the love that this person is bringing you is giving you the clarity that you need to be able to see that it's time to stop sitting around and waiting for this to blossom. Because I feel like, I'm gonna clarify the Hierophant, I feel like if this is if this is your reading, I feel like you stepped into some type of a situation, yeah, we've got the Knight of Pentacles here, and it's just been moving either incredibly slow 
or like I said, the dynamic has changed. So instead of it being a partnership, it's more like a child slash teacher situation. And it's like, this isn't how this situation should be. You know, this isn't love. Show me this fire scent, please. The magician and the king of swords. An air sign, more than likely. Either an air or a water sign for sure, guys. I mean, it could be something else, but that's what I'm reading. I get the feeling like this person duped you. This person duped you and you fell in head first. And now you're starting to see, you know, this person's full of shit, basically. Like this person's giving you a lot of baloney. That's the best way I can put it. Let me clip, since I've clarified everything else, let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles. What is this about in the near future, please, Spirit? The High Priestess, you know. The Emperor again on the bottom of the deck. Somebody is coming into your life. Somebody's coming in and offering you stability and love and clarity. But I feel like for a lot of you, you're stuck in this current situation where the, the tides have turned and it's no longer like a loving situation. It's more like a manipulative situation. And this is spirit kind of telling you like, it's time for you and you know this, but it is time for you to be moving along here, okay? Transition is coming. You've been waiting long enough. You know that this is what you're meant to be doing. But I feel like there's a lot of hesitancy on the part of whoever is in this situation. It's like you know that this Knight of Cups has your best interest at heart. But I feel like just because of the, the amount of time, the amount of work, the amount of effort that has gone into this relationship that you're currently in, you're hesitant to move on. Like you're actually being very compassionate towards the fact that this person has kind of changed. Like you're making, I don't wanna say excuses, but kind of excuses. You're kind of like, well, you know, all relationships change and this, that, and the other thing, no. There, it, it's not supposed to feel like that, okay? And you have somebody else coming in, offering you love, offering you stability. And again, let me, let me say this again. If this is your reading, this is something you've been going through for a long time. This isn't going to be like, oh, I'm dating somebody and, you know, they didn't text me enough this past week. So now I'll move. No, this is like, you're married to this person. You have been living with this person for years. This is something that has run its course, all right? If this reading is for you, that's the sitch. You guys know what to do though. You know what to do. It's just, you're hesitant, which makes sense. Let's see our next step. Wow, well, guys, I really, really was not expecting this reading. Okay, next step please for the Aquarius click. Let's see what we got going on. Next step, what's going on with this knight? Well, can we just get one, please, Spirit? Just one. You guys. <laughs> and we have the Page of Swords on the bottom. Somebody is coming in hot to get in your ear about this. Like they're, they, they're here for you. Let's see what's in the recent past here. The page of wands, look at him walking away. We got the page of wands walking away and we've got the knight of wands rushing on in. And I feel like these are two separate energies. So I feel like you're kicking the one that's not doing what they need to be doing to the curb and allowing this other person to come through. Let's see it in your future. Oh yeah, the tower and the star card Aquarius. 
We're gonna clarify this, but the way that I'm reading this currently is this tower isn't a necessarily a bad thing. This tower is going to be something beneficial to you. This is going to be something that's going to allow you to really not only have the hope, but to experience all the things that you're hoping for. Spirit's coming through and clearing out whatever you're unwilling to walk away from. Let's see what's crowning. What's crowning this Knight of Wands? What's up with him? The Three of Wands. We're planning. We're moving in a direction, Aquarius, away from whoever this page is, whoever the Hierophant was representing, the situation with the Hierophant. We're moving away from this. And I feel like if you don't choose, like Spirit's giving you the opportunity, right? Spirit's saying, I'm sending someone in. We're going to give you the opportunity to kick this other guy out and to make a plan in which direction you want to move. I feel like if you choose because we have free will, right? You don't have to do anything. And I don't, you know, I encourage you guys to always listen to your, your intuition, to listen to your guides, to tap in. We have the King of Swords again in the, in the foundation here. There's your air sign. I feel like Spirit is sending you somebody. And I feel like this is kind of a nudge to let you know, like, yeah, it's time. It's it's time. This is dead. This is done. This is over, right? But if we choose to not make these plans, if we choose to stick around in this situation, which no longer serves us, I mean, I hate to say you're still good. It's going to be like a, a much bigger of an ordeal if you allow spirit to come through and do it. But either way, this is ending. Whatever you're in currently with this person who has the situation that has changed, the situation that is no longer serving where you are on your path. Spirit's going to come through and bulldoze it, which is wonderful. I mean, it's a wonderful thing. You know, sometimes we feel stuck in situations and we feel like we don't have the wherewithal to get out of it. We do. Okay. You do. Let's clarify this page of wands. The ace of wands. All right, so maybe the page. King of cups again. You guys definitely have somebody coming in like really, really over the top driven to make something out of this with you. Show me the king of swords, please. What's up with this king of swords? Yeah, the Seven of Cups. We have somebody here and the Three of Cups. This is my cheating card. So there could have even been like a third party situation for some of you with this person that you're currently dealing with. Um, but this person is all up in their head. They're confused. They want to act, and this fits in with the Hierophant. They want to act like, you know, they're this logical, reasonable person, and they can see, like, you know, like, no, listen to me. Like, screw your feelings. Listen to what I have to say right? That kind of a thing. But in reality, they, they don't know what the hell's going on. They're confused. They're confused and they're taking you along for the ride. I'm going to clarify the tower. Show me this tower. The magician again. And there's that dang king of cups. So this is the way I'm reading it, Aquarius. I feel like this tower event, if you choose to not move ahead and end this on your own, okay? If you choose not to accept what this new person coming through is offering, I feel like you're subconsciously manifesting this tower event. And that's why this is coming out with the star, okay? Because this being leveled to the ground is going to give you the hope that you need, the wherewithal that you need to keep going, to keep expanding, to keep growing. Because I feel like you're stuck right now with this King of Swords energy. Like this person is keeping you stuck 
in some type of an unequal situation. And I almost get the feeling that like spirit knows that whoever this reading is for isn't at a place yet where they want to walk away. They're not ready to walk away and go do something alone at this moment. Spirit's sending you in somebody else to help you find clarity, to help you find, you know, understand what love is again, because whatever you're in right now is not love. This does not look like love to me. Um, so spirit really has your back here, but this is really going to be on your part about acknowledging the fact that whatever situation with the Hierophant, this King of Swords, whatever this situation is, acknowledging and admitting to yourself, this has run its course. And it's time for us to part ways. That's not to say that our paths will never cross again, right? We want to release people with love, as hard as that can be. And we want to forgive. That doesn't mean we have to forget. But we want to be forgiving. And if you're able to do this, you're going to have a beautiful beginning with somebody new. And I'm getting, I mean, I don't have the cards out here, but I get the feeling that some of you know this person. Whoever this person is coming in, some of you already know them. They're involved in this situation in some way, shape, or form. But the guidance here is to remember your worth, okay? Remember your worth. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of being treated reciprocally by a partner. It doesn't need to be like a teacher-student situation, and it shouldn't be. You don't need to be having orders barked at you and, you know, somebody constantly, like, telling you, oh, no, that that's not quite right, you know, like, but let me explain the same thing in my own words, and then I'm going to tell you that's right. Like, kind of like a gaslighting situation, almost. So, yeah, that that's, wow, okay, that, that's it there, Aquarius. Basically, the bottom line is, if this is your reading, you're stuck with a person right now you've been with for a long time, that person is no longer holding up their end of the bargain. They're doing some gaslighting. They're doing some manipulative shit. And you have something much better coming through your way. Somebody who's excited to be around you. Somebody who wants to give you the truth. Somebody who wants to know your truth. Somebody who is going to see you as an equal. All right? But just know... If you choose not to take that path and you choose to do this on your own, Spirit's got your back. Spirit has your back. They're going to come right on through and knock whatever this situation is out of the ballpark anyway. So, yeah, that's it, Aquarius. I wish you all the best. If this is your situation, hang in there. I know it can be hard, especially when we're dealing with somebody or something we've been around for years and years and years. It's kind of like we know that this is what our life is and even if it's not the healthiest situation, we feel more comfortable being in an unhealthy situation than we do being in the unknown. Know that you're protected, know that your guides are with you, know spirit is with you, and know that you have the strength and the wherewithal to get through any situation that this life throws at you. And that ultimately you have chosen this life so to take the lessons with gratitude and to keep it moving. All right, guys, that's where we're going to leave it today. Thank you so much for stopping by. I love you all so much. I appreciate you. I hope you have a beautiful day, and I'll talk to you again soon.